Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be doing a review of the Creality Ender 3 3D printer that was sent to me by Gearbest.com. Although I've only had this printer for a couple of weeks, I've put a lot of hours on it since receiving it, so I feel confident in giving you an accurate, honest review. However, I do reserve the right to update this video at a later date if any issues should occur in the future. I did an unboxing video on this printer and although everything was very well packed, there was some slight damage to it. The bracket that mounts the Y-axis stepper motor was slightly bent, but I was able to remove it and straighten it out so that it has not been an issue in printing with this printer. The assembly instructions were quite adequate and made the assembly process pretty straightforward and I would even go so far as to say that unless this is your very first 3D printer, the assembly is really easy. If it is your first 3D printer, just take your time and follow the instructions carefully and you'll be fine. If I can do it, anyone can. I had the printer assembled in approximately an hour and a half and that's including the time it took me to remove and straighten the bent bracket and reinstall it. Before I could print the sample program, I leveled the bed and was pleasantly surprised to see that the Ender 3 came with some larger leveling knobs instead of the small ones that came on my CR-10. It was nice that I could start printing without having to print accessories for this printer. The Ender 3 is ready to print in its stock form. I ran the sample program that came on the micro SD card, which was dog.g code, and it printed perfectly. The only thing I was disappointed with was the very small amount of filament that came with this printer. As you can see from the photo, the white filament supplied was only enough to do about one third of the sample program. I had some black filament on hand that I used to finish it. So if you're planning on purchasing this 3D printer, and it's going to be your first one, you might want to order some filament ahead of time so that you'll have some when the printer arrives, as you won't be able to print very much at all before the filament that comes with it runs out. Since my first print with this new printer turned out so well, I decided I would try a more challenging print. I printed a platform jack, which printed perfectly, but it was stuck to the build surface so well that I broke it trying to get it off and that was after leaving the print on there overnight. I printed a second one using a wrap this time and was able to get it released from the build surface without damage. I quickly learned that the build surface on this printer is very different than the glass plate I use on my CR-10. The Ender 3 build surface sticks very well without using hairspray, a glue stick, or really anything at all. I would much rather have a problem of a print sticking too well than not well enough. On most of my prints, I found that if I use a small brim, I can get the scraper under it and remove the finished print easily. When using the micro SD card, I discovered that there is an oversized hole in the box and it is possible to insert the micro SD card in the hole above the micro SD slot. I managed to do just that and when I was able to fish out the micro SD card out of there, it would no longer work. So I lost the manual files, the sample G code file, and whatever else was on that micro SD card. For a while I was using a very high tech piece of scotch tape to cover the hole so I wouldn't accidentally stick the micro SD card in there. But I have since purchased another micro SD to SD extension cable like I use on my CR-10. So now I don't have to remove a card from that slot. I prefer to use the larger SD cards anyway. I'll have a link below for that extension cable. The control box under the bed has a cooling fan that faces up. So you have to be very careful that you don't drop anything near it or it may go in the fan. I'm guessing you can figure out how I know that little tidbit of information. Overall, I'm very happy with this Ender 3 printer. It's basically the same design as the popular CR-10. I really like that it has a very small footprint because the control board mounts to the frame instead of having a separate control box like the CR-10. The spool holder mounts to the top of the frame, saving space also. At just over $200, US, I don't see how there could be a better 3D printer out there for that kind of money. 
I would encourage anyone that is thinking about getting into 3D printing to consider giving the Creality Ender 3 a serious look. Or if you're just looking to add to your arsenal of 3D printers, this is a great bang for your buck. With a build volume of 220 millimeters by 220 millimeters by 250 millimeters, this printer is the real deal. So I guess that will just about wrap up this video. Please remember to check out the affiliate links that I've listed below, and if you use those links to do your shopping, you not only get a great deal, but you also help to support my channel, and I thank you very much for that. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you very much for watching.